is taking a look at the all new Alto Stealth 1. Not to be confused with the Stealth Wireless. These effectively will do the same job as the wireless, but for a lot less money. £85, that's a transmitter and a receiver, so that will do one speaker. So if you want a stereo pair, you need two of these, £170. There is a few differences between them. I'm yet to read over the, the, the full spec sheet. I'm going to run a few tests. These will still hold up with PA speakers, which is what I have the Stealth Wireless plugged into at the moment. Um, small setups, home setups, but there's nothing to stop you using it with your bigger PAs. I'm going to run these down here so I don't have to take a cable from these two speakers across the floor. You see a mic on there, they will transmit and receive line level as well. So absolutely fine to run into your DJ controllers, mixers. So let's take a look at what we'll have inside the box. We've got a transmitter and receiver. They run off battery. So what you could do is get some rechargeables. Uh, approximately four hours they're stating here on the box. It comes with a micro USB cable. It's about one meter. I'm going to use these 1.5 meter cables from Roland because I want to bring it around the back and just tack it to the speaker pole there, plug it into the wall on either side. I've got a pass through from the XLR out of the mixer here, running through the table. So if I was going to hook audio cables from the speakers to the mixer, I will just go from there to each speaker. But like I said, I want to eliminate that cable run across the floor with the speakers. And I'm not going to put batteries in it. I'm just going to use uh, the, these cables here to power. So let's get them hooked up, take a look, and more importantly, let's get a listen. Okay, so we're all set up the Aldo Stealth 1. Both of the transmitters here are paired with their relative receivers. Under normal circumstances, both of these LEDs will be lit blue. This one is showing red to indicate that the battery here is starting to run low. I did say I was going to power all these things, but I uh, didn't have enough of this type of plug kicking around the shop. Um, while I was looking for different ones, I came across a problem, and I'll share it with you now because it will be very useful information. This uh, it's 5 volt, uh, 3100 milliamp. When I was using this to power these, I was getting very unpleasant noise, and it's down to the plug. Uh, swapped a lot of things around and that was the source of the issue the receivers are being powered with the same type of plug but a different uh ampage on it i think it was 2.0 i'll tell you what i'll do I'll stick it across here now so stick to what i'm using there and you'll be absolutely grand in terms of the sound yeah no problems with that whatsoever stacks up pretty well Obviously, sound never comes across well in video. You need to be here in person to hear, but it's absolutely grand. One thing I did notice as well was that there's, I had to do a bit more balancing with the master uh, volume and the, the speakers. So normally I would have the level of this around there somewhere, probably about zero dB on the mixer. I found that I had to draw that back a bit to around minus 4 dB on the mixer and then subsequently I had to turn the volume of the speakers up when it was around here. It was distorting basically but you can still get a decent output level it's just you might have to balance your your your, your setup and it's going to be different you know with, with the sound cards and different units, mixers, controllers, different types of speakers you know your mileage will vary. Something to consider if you are using this setup and yeah like I say it's it sounds good so what I'll do is compare the Stealth 1 against the Stealth Wireless, which I have plugged in here to the Alto TS 415s. I'll give a bit of a sound demo with this, and we've got our transmitter box down here. So here we go with the Stealth Wireless. I've got the same track playing here that was on the other setup around the corner there, a little bit of bigger shade for you. And I've got the Master. No, a little over 12 o'clock here on the Prime Go. Have a listen to this and compare it against the other and see if we need to tweak volumes and you see how the, the, the quality of sound is. And cut to 
Stealth 1. Okay, so a bit quieter and noticeable distortion. So, just the same as before, I'm going to take the master down here. And dry the speakers a bit more, volume-wise. So, I did have them at uh, 12 o'clock. Let's take them around about 2 each or there, thereabouts. And right around the back of here. If you are rolling with the new TS4s or speakers, it has a 5 volt 2.1 amp on this USB charging port, then you can use the provided USB cable and not have to worry about another long cable and an additional plug into your setup. Let's see how this sounds now in comparison to the wireless. Absolutely spot on. It was about the same volume to my ears that the wireless was at and sound quality wise, hard pressed to tell the difference. So yeah, you know, you just see you've got to change things around a little bit, but you can achieve the same results with both of these products. That's the Stealth One and the Stealth Wireless. There's a case and a point for each of them. What I would say or suggest them, you know, what I'll be doing myself personally is if I'm in big, big rooms where I might need that little bit more volume than normal, or if I'm running with the subs in the top combination, then it'll be the Stealth Wireless all day long. Uh, small to medium sized rooms possibly, outdoor gardens, whatever it might be, or just home setups like that. Then Stealth One, more than sufficient for the task. So that's, that's the two of them there. Hope that helps you out. It's the Stealth Wireless and the Stealth One from Alto both of which are available here at our Level DJ store.